I wanted to give an update and then I thought of this funny ass like comedy skit and I just spoke it and it's not really a skit it's just picture me on stage talking to a crowd you know who the you know who are pretty cool those guys who are broke and they have no money could even even be homeless you know but they're very cool because they still have confidence and they have the balls and they still have that character and charisma to still approach a woman even though they're broke you know you know these men aren't scared of truth they're not scared of truth that the other girl knows that you know it's, it's as if they're exchanging the service you know she buys them lunch she buys them dinner you know he gives her sex you know she buys she buys him weed he gives her sex you know so um and, but yet he doesn't have anything but yet he's still confident he's still willing to hustle any way he can you know she knows it's just he don't have anything so and so she looks at him in the eyes of well what does he have to offer he has a penis so But the ones that you really don't even want to bother with are the ones who are broke, but they're depressed because they usually don't even have the energy to fuck you right, you know? So it didn't come out, it's, it's like, it didn't come out the first time I thought about it. Like, you know, like, yeah, it just didn't come out. It didn't come out right. When I spoke to you right now, but that was the whole concept of my. I guess it, it was not really a joke. It was really more of like dry humor, where the crowd would be like, "Oh, they'll probably just chuckle for like how sad of a fucking truth that was," you know. I thought about myself, like I'm just too fucking low on energy. But um, update I get. Oh, anyway, so you know, I just been in my truck. I'm actually just fucking chilling. But shout out my homie. I filled up my ice chest. Got some materials to make sandwiches. Should carry me throughout the day, maybe even till tomorrow. Cause I have some milk in here, and I have some cereal, and I don't know. I still spend a decent amount of money over there at the 99, even just for myself. Um, okay, back to back to the update. You know. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Uh, my neighbor Mike, he relapsed on meth recently and he hasn't kind of been too friendly like he was before. I don't know if he feels as if me and my other neighbor Odin were the cause of it or like influenced him to do it or maybe the, where the people on the church property he lives on, maybe they might have told him. I just think he's kind of laying low for a while. He's kind of a little disappointed in himself, probably. That's how I'm taking it. No hard feelings from the guy. And Odin, he's supposed to take his car and has been stalled here for like, right, two plus months and he's supposed to take it to the mechanic, so. And he said he's leaving on August 1st. He'll be out of here, so. I'll be in this parking lot myself. There's been a guy recently who's been staying here too. Uh, I just said. Uh, I just don't. It's been like, only two days, but uh, so let's update here. And my car, my weed is running out, <laughs> and my money's running out, and fucking my car, my transmission is kind of acting funny. Um, if I have to recycle, I will. You know, if I literally have no money, you know, I, I'll for sure get some sort of money for the next day to be able to eat at least you know, like $20 worth of recycles am I gonna go and smash out and fill up the back of my truck like I did before I don't know you know I've been doing my art and um you know, I'm not trying to steal from nobody I'm trying to create my own or, or I'm not taking from anybody you know when I do do my paintings and I paint something that I felt it's kind of original or came out like decently um good an aesthetic where you know the looks of it makes it seem appealing to you and um and i feel good about those moments because 
I feel like I created it, you know, this is my paper. I didn't go to a company and I didn't have to fucking outwork somebody next to me. I feel like I have to like work hard and like but have these other people like really like not fuck with you because you want to grow and you want to have a good life and you know I, I could do that with my own creativity you know that's how i feel in some moments in some moments i'm like ah, they're not gonna want my fucking paintings you know and that goes back to the joke of like <laughs> for a woman like you rather like you rather fuck with that broke motherfucker but who has character, who has personality and confidence can make you laugh. And and he could deal with those moments of like, where it's like, you know, she knows that that fool's in need of probably somewhere to stay or maybe just, even just companionship or, or like, you know, maybe something to eat or fucking, I don't know, you know, some weed sometimes or just like even just kicking it, you know. Like, you don't expect much from him, but he's a good time, you know? And I thought about, like, the depressed guy. Like, he's homeless, but he can't even entertain you. It's like, he's the worst one. You don't want him. It's like, also what I was thinking about, uh, even lost what I was talking about earlier, which kind of was similar. Um, oh, yeah, about my art. About, you know, like hunger will really drive you you know and um if i don't collect which i don't want to because i always feel somebody's looking at you like it's theirs you know it's like that unspoken entitlement and there's not enough trash cans to go around for everybody and you never know who's people don't communicate out here they'll probably rob you without even ever speaking to you and you won't even know it was the guy that you know feels like you're taking his shit you know so but with my art, like I said, but also it's like, I, I, I know you got to go out there. I know you got to go to this store because this store, they might not want your work. You know, I know you got to go to that store. They might not want your work. You got to go to this place. You got to go to this place. You got to meet these people, you know? That's kind of like where that, that depressed, lack of ambitious character came about, you know? Uh, I guess I correlated it to uh, sex with the woman before, but just to make it comedic, but... It's kind of true, you know, but I'm also not stupid. I'm not like, I know these things, you know, like, I know you got to try these mom and pop spots first, you know? Uh, I know that because I know I'm not that good where someone's just going to want to buy my shit off of IG, you know? It's not like, I, like, um, I think people will probably buy my shit out of respect for the hustle and like the, the courage to like at least attempt to get your shit in a store or something you know it's kind of why I want to do it to show people that I'm trying at least but but still at the end of the day I still feel blessed you know I feel blessed although it would be cool to live in a community with other people in a similar situation as you but America's found a way to even find those places to become kind of unlivable you, know, you hear all these stories about women getting raped and skid row and men getting fucking stabbed or beaten up or you know, mistreated and a lot of violence over there. So I feel blessed to be where I'm at, but I also uh, get lonely, you know? I can't complain because Odin, I always ask him about like, would you ever want to like, you don't want a woman, you want to be in love or nothing? Speaking of this, I miss my daughter tremendously. This weekend was kind of a drag. It kind of had no purpose to it, you know? Unless I was making my music. You know what I'm saying? Or doing my art. Or eating or something, you know? Or running. But other than that, you know, the days were pretty long. Saturday and Sunday. I just missed her, you know? Anyway, you know, just hope. Nobody's mistreating your children when you're away, you know? Especially, like, sexually. Abusively, too. Like, when someone just always constantly putting them down because they feel like shit. Like, that's fucked up, you know? That, that fucking screws people up mentally, you know? And not only that, but also sexually, too. You, you don't want your daughter to be too, to, to be too um, consumed with how she looks or maybe she doesn't even like how she looks you know maybe she 
looks in the mirror and doesn't find herself worth, worth it, you know? I just hope that's not the case, you know? And, um, but so far, so good, I guess. It's getting towards the day where it's starting to get more breezy. Like around, even today, it started like at 9 a.m. From like 9, or like let's say 10 a.m. to like 2. It's pretty fucking just kind of a dry heat, you know? It's not as hot as Arizona. We're in Los Angeles, so kind of in the valley. And um, so right now I'm getting that good, uh, um, what do you call it? The breeze, the breeze coming from the valley, I guess. Uh, anyway, it's been a 10 minute video, about to be 11. Shout out to my homie, man. This trace coming through for me. And I'll uh, catch y'all later, man. Peace.